hail and salutations, everybody. It is your good pal, Rex Examiner, here to talk about a little game we'd like to call Dragon Quest, or, as we noted, America for, well, most of its life, Dragon Warrior. Uh, now, Dragon Quest will be celebrating its 30th anniversary as a franchise in uh, 2016. Uh, the game came out originally on the Famicom in 1986. And strangely enough, we did not get it over here on the NES until 1989. So if you do the math in your head, yes, that means that this year, Dragon Warrior celebrates its 25th anniversary. And coincidentally, in August year is when it first came out. Now, it's a very strange um, location, I should say, because while you could buy in the stores, most people probably got it through Nintendo Power. Um, it was a special giveaway in the um, September-October issue, which is issue number eight. Um, as you can see me pying through right here, um, you got Dragon Warrior. And as you can also see, it's kind of weird how it looks. I mean, Nintendo Power was kind of a strange thing in it itself, just because like they had to do their own art, and a lot of it's really ugly. I mean, when you look at these art, you expect like D&D &D Dungeon Dragons Dragon Warrior, and then you jump into it, and it's a super pixelated, cutesy kind of thing. Very different from the art. The same goes with Final Fantasy, which will be discussed in a, uh, another episode, but the art for that is very similar, where it's just like super meaty barbarian dudes. Uh, anyway, as to the game itself, um, the, the first one I played was Dragon Quest IV when it got re-released on the DS here. I didn't really care for it much. It was kind of old school and yeah, it didn't really uh, thrill me. And I got 9 and I loved that game so, so much and I tried subsequent uh, sequels after that. Anyway, let's talk about that now. We're going to talk about the original one. I never played the original one until literally today when I'm sitting down to play this thing. And, uh, <laughs> man, is it brutally difficult. Uh, not just difficult, but demanding. This is the definition of grinding. You think some of these games nowadays are a grind? Oh no, I gotta fight this whatever to get this whatever, and I don't have a very good vocabulary when I'm trying to uh, ex <laughs> uh, make fun of people here. Uh, no, uh, but seriously. This is a grind. I'm getting one experience and one gold from these slimes. Maybe two. Uh, guess what? I can fight maybe four or five of these monsters before I have to go to the inn. The inn will give me uh, full health, but I have to give them six gold. Six gold is about what I make when I'm doing these monster runs. Now, of course, eventually you'll get stronger so you can defeat monsters quicker so you can accumulate that gold. But it's a catch-22. You need better equipment to kill these monsters faster, so you don't waste the gold, but you need the gold to get the gold, and it's... Uh, it is a grind. Uh, you know, you're this uh, warrior, it starts you off, the king's like, you go save the day or whatever, as you saw, and then you just go out there and you do it. Uh, there's not a lot of story. I don't like the inner... The thing that I really don't like most, besides the grinding, is like the interaction. But it's a very uh, nice limitation for the day. It's not a nice limitation, but it's a nice workaround for the limitation. There's only four buttons on the controller, start, select, A and B. And the way they got around that is, let's have one of these buttons make a menu pop up where there's a bunch of other choices. Uh, there's search, there's go downstairs, why is there a go downstairs button? Why can't you just go down the stairs? Uh, <laughs> you know, open chest, all that other stuff, talking, uh, your whatever items. Um, in the items, you only have a select amount of places to put your items as well, so it's pretty difficult. Now, uh, this is the Super Nintendo remake of the game, which uh, looks a bit nicer, but you can tell that it definitely is Dragon Quest. Now, besides the graphics, they did lower the difficulty, if not only a, a pubic hair. Uh, it's still hard. You still aren't given the old pat on the back and say, hey, you tried your best, here's a bunch of experience in gold. No, it's more like, hey, we're reasonable, we'll give you a little bit more gold, maybe a tiny bit more experience so it goes a little bit faster. A little bit. Uh, if I was going to play any of these, I'd probably play the Super Nintendo one, but uh, 
I, I do want to commend it for being special. Uh, Dragon Warrior is a very special game, very special series. Uh, it took off in Japan more than it took off over here, just like Final Fantasy is more popular in the West than it is in Japan. Now, they're both two popular franchises, uh, but Final Fantasy is more fondly remembered here, whereas Dragon Warrior and Dragon Quest, um, not so much. Not saying it's not popular, but of the two, Dragon Quest is more of a niche kind of thing. Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, whatever. Uh, I should also mention that they changed the name from Dragon Quest to Dragon Warrior because there's a game over here called Dragon Quest. Uh, I believe it was a tabletop RPG. But anyway, happy 25th anniversary Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest in America. It's a very nice uh, anniversary, of course, technically... Uh, it'll be 30th in 2016, and normally I would wait to celebrate anniversaries for the American release when it's something spectacular like this, um, but I'm going to wait until uh, 2016 to fully celebrate it because three years is a long time of a gap um, between releases, and uh, as you've seen in probably other videos I've done, it's just uh, you know maybe a year off. It's like, oh, Metal Gear Solid came out in 1987, whereas it'll come up a couple months later, which actually makes it into, you know, 98 or whatever. And it's like, oh, now it's actually the anniversary of it now in America. And that's why I'm doing this, to celebrate the American release, but also I'll do a big, you know, retrospective when the actual anniversary comes for the 30th. Uh, very strange. Um, I guess Final Fantasy is technically like that, too. Uh, I believe it came out in 89 or 1990, the original, which was three years after that as well. So technically, I should be celebrating another anniversary this year, uh, or next year. Next year, I should celebrate the 25th. Ah, uh, anniversary is so confusing. Ah, what do I celebrate, the Japanese or the American one? Anyway, I'm going to go off and drink or something. Um, but anyway, you should probably track down some form of Dragon Warrior quest and play it. Remember those games. They're good. They're good. They're hard, but they're good. Boom.